Hey, what is up everyone? Ryan here again, this time coming at you with a tutorial of how to maximize windows on a Mac computer. Now if that's confusing, don't worry, I'm going to get it all sorted out. But I was asked this question recently and it is a pretty big issue for some Mac users out there. So I'm just going to get this kicked off. I am prefacing that I am using Mac OS X Lion. So if you want to, you can always use the full screen feature in the top right. Just go ahead and click on those two arrows and it will take you full screen. So what a lot of people want to do is stay in that default desktop with the dock on the bottom, the menu bar on the top, and just make the window fill up the entire screen of the computer. Now you can do this a couple ways. You can resize the window by hand. You can click on that green plus button. But let me just say, that the green plus button does not do what you think it might do. If you're coming from Windows, this will not fill up the entire screen with the window. It'll actually resize the window to make sure that all the content inside of that window is able to be seen. This is a little bit counterintuitive, but it actually makes pretty good sense. If you look at the New York Times here, you can see if you zoom way out and make it full screen, that there are white bars on the side. That may be good for some people if you want to make this all the way full screen, but to others you might just want to hit the green plus button and just to be able to see everything on that website. What you can also do is zoom in on the content you want to see. If it's zoomed in far enough the text gets bigger, the website itself gets bigger on screen, so when you hit that green plus button to fill up all of the contents of that website, the window itself has to get bigger. This in effect will make the window seem to be maximized as it was in Windows, just a little workaround to make that work better. But what you can also do is check out an app called Better Touch Tool. Now I reviewed an app called Better Snap Tool a little bit earlier on. As another video, you can check out that if you want to learn about that app. That is a paid. Better Touch Tool, on the other hand, is free. It has fewer features and allows you to do a similar type of thing, where it will give you the snap features available in Windows and a couple other things as well. So what you can do, you can download this from CNET. Once you boot it up, you can enable the couple options that you want, whether you want to snap to the top, snap to the right, bottom, sides, whatever, and you can get the full screen viewing experience that you are used to with a maximize key on Windows, but now use it similarly in OS X. I hope that helped you guys out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, I thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to talking to you next time. See ya.